Hello everybody! Welcome back to our channel! Welcome back to our channel! Welcome back! And for those who are new here... Hi! Say hi to everyone! Hi! That he still had food in his mouth because he's still having cereal. But today is wash day! We're gonna get those hair sorted out. And I'm also gonna show you the products that I'm gonna be using today by Uncle Jackie. Auntie Jackie. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna use um, Auntie Jackie products and I'm gonna do a full routine on what his wash day routine looks like. And we're also gonna go to the barber because young boy needs a new haircut. So we're gonna get his hair done as well. And looking forward to sharing his wash day. If he's gonna let me actually wash his hair nicely. But yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So the products I'm going to use today are from Auntie Jackie's Curls and Coils range because I have tried different products for him but this product are the best that works for him otherwise it works for him best so that's what I'm using so I'm using this shampoo oh also clean moisturizing and softening shampoo because his hair it's actually soft but it gets dry very quickly and this really helps to keep it moistured and keeping it clean basically cleans out his hair very nicely because you know what boys man like one moment they're playing in sand and one moment he's playing with paint in his hair so it, washing his hair is almost like i don't know like it comes back home from school with all kinds of things in his hair so this really does help and then um so for today i'm going to use also do conditioning so we're going to use this moist in control moisturizing and softening conditioner uh, also from Auntie Jackie's range, very, very good conditioner. I used to use the, I'll show it to you now, uh, the one I used to use. And then for moisturizing, it's instant detangling therapy, not on my watch. Moisturizer. So it's a Richard Shear butter and olive oil, also very, very awesome. And yeah, so that's what we're going to be using today. Cool. So I normally wash his hair. He takes a bath right so and the water is not as hot as it's looking oh my gosh it's burning but it's not actually that hot it's like make a lukewarm water and yeah so i get his hair wet um and they basically just shampooing uh from the um free dub tub is what we do i literally just go into his hair like really hard with it because his hair is it's really really um in fact it, it's a lot of knots it's got a lot of knots so the hair um shampoo helps a lot in getting the knots out honestly it's like really brilliant to get the knots out so i just go through the side of his head or everything like his whole scalp obviously he complains a lot of soap getting into his eyes he literally like i make sure the soap doesn't hit his eyes but you know how it's so yeah what i also um like to do is just comb it a little bit just get kind of like the knot I can say that the 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 loose tips off now because his hair kind of like uh, coils and then at the tip of the hair there's kind of look like small little balls of hair hanging from there so I just brush out and stuff like that so I just use two of my fingers just to get a grip like the top tip of his hair into the roots of his hair because that definitely hurts him so I just go in the part of his hair and just comb that out and I just try to do this possible because obviously, like this hair is very, 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 um, so I just try to be as gentle as possible by brushing the top of his hair and getting those knots out and just trying to get his hair, you know, back to its fluffy state. It is kind of like a mini dread, but it's not that like dread. It coils up very easily, like you leave it all for one night and it's coiled completely the next morning so i always have to just kind of like lightly comb it in, specifically when washing it and when i put moisturizer in as well i just lightly like put a little bit look at his face like he's literally like 
complaining about all this way guys you know that's so i hope but he, he hardly complains about the pain in his head just when i open my eyes the soap in my eyes and stuff like that because yeah with the babies you know you need to be gentle and yeah and basically oh you can literally see how long his hair is you'll see it actually a little bit in the next clip his hair is pretty long like literally about the combing he's like stop it aren't you done now <laughs> he hates getting his hair washed he hates 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 getting his hair washed but he loves um being nice and clean so he needs to kind of like toughen up a little bit but it's not really that nice i know i know like even washing my own hair is sometimes really painful so yeah i just brush it out and make sure that all the grass and whatever is in there is also out um because sometimes when he plays with his friends oh my gosh it's almost like he does like headstands in the freaking grass it's crazy because the amount of hair or grass that comes back in his hair i'd be like how how did i don't understand how there's literally so much grass in his hair but anyways it's boys i guess i don't know you guys will let me know if you guys experience the same thing but yeah it's literally like is going on there for me most of the so, but you can see like his hair is nice and soft and fluffy and yeah i just like to keep it that way so um yeah so we're done with the wash we're gonna just rinse off the shampoo if he will let me rinse his hair so normally i would do two washes um with the shampoo but I think I just forgot today to do wash it twice. But depends on how dirty it is, you know. It wasn't that dirty, so I just washed it once, I think, um, to make sure that I prep the hair for the conditioner. And then once that's done. Cool. So once his hair is nice and clean, I get the conditioner in. So I really make sure that I'm proper generous with the amount of conditioner I put in his hair. I literally put the conditioner in um, in sections, right? So I start off with the front of his hair or the back, whichever works or whichever I do that day. I literally just kind of like uh, massage it into his scalp. So like really, really rubbing, rubbing it in there, into his scalp and into his hair as well. And yeah, literally making sure that it's in there. Okay. And yeah, keeping him still in like general is like not possible. Not possible at all. So I just quickly <laughs> And then once I'm happy with the amount of conditioner that's in there, see like those tangled loose little bits at the tips of his hair. Is what I just saw. and it doesn't really feel much of a pain. So I use a different um, comb while conditioning, so I can just get into uh, the hair a little bit more. And again, just basically brushing out the ends and getting into the whole hair. So I just take a section of his hair like that in between my fingers and um, brush it like that. Because if I were to brush the whole hair, definitely it would hurt him. So I just brush the, the ends and just get those. Um, little balls of hair that's like hanging off his scalp so it just pulls out
us. Sometimes it's a hectic one to get these bad boys. Out. Yeah, and right now I'm definitely um. He's not happy with me anymore now. He's like done. He's done, done, done. No more touching of my hair. And I'm like, okay, cool, no stress. So I just continue to like massage it in a little bit more. Basically, what I'll do here is I'll just put the um in his hair while I give him like a bath. And then um yeah, so I add in a little bit more conditioner obviously as well. Massage it in. And yeah, so while he I give him his bath, then the conditioner would be in his hair for a little bit but i do keep it in for a little bit even after the bath i'll show you guys now but look at that length look at that length you know shrinkage is a real thing oh my gosh she's got beautiful hair he's got great hair and you know look at him in his shower cap so i keep uh cap on for a few more minutes uh, after his bath and then after that I just give it a rinse and then we're ready for condition oh moisturizing <laughs> yeah apparently I look squishy now but yeah see and it looks even fuller so I so he has like a mini dread going on I didn't want to brush that completely out because my child would have died but yeah so I'm just gonna see we're gonna get his haircut now and then yep we're gonna get going cool so here we are at the barber and he's doing so great he's not really very good at the barber and a lot of barbers are ready to say but he's really really a good boy yeah, shame look at that sandy hmm? look at your hair man look at your hair man look at you look at you look at you misa wow what's that a knife so it looks pretty good pretty good i didn't get them to dye it this time because i wanted to see his natural look but he looks good i could barely keep him with me any longer because his best friend is now here so i'm old news but normally after i wash it i'd use the sponge thing um just to coil up his hair and stuff like that and gives it a nice like thick locks instead of like dread dreadies so yeah that's our wash day and sunday's haircut he was pretty brave really really brave so happy and yeah you guys share your wash the experiences of products with me maybe the stuff that i'm um, aware of maybe the stuff that i'm not using correctly but yeah. thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for spending the day with us and yes see you guys next time Mwah. love you and thank you so much for the comments don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's here and the like and leave a comment love you guys Mwah. 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 Mwah.